Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Premier Guitar, and I'm honored today to be able to demonstrate this new ZT amplifier. The guys over at ZT Amps worked very closely with Mr. Lee Ronaldo um, of Sonic Youth and his solo projects uh, as well. Um, carefully designed this thing uh, around his spec. Um, as you can see visually, it looks a lot like his Super Reverb that he's famous for using for years on end. It's got that same artwork on it. Uh, but this is a very compact, lightweight amplifier. It's all solid state. Uh, it sounds huge. Uh, there's an onboard reverb, which you heard in the intro there as well. And uh, I'll run you through some of the features this thing has to offer. Under the grill cloth, uh, we have a single 12-inch neodymium driver. Uh, it was designed by ZT and built by Eminence. All right, so as far as the controls go, across the top here, we have uh, three a gain, a three-band EQ, a volume and a reverb. Uh, the gain and the volume really do work in conjunction with one another. Uh, the more you crank the gain, you can either decrease the volume just like a master control or you can increase the volume which actually gives you more gain as well. Um, they, they work together uh, quite nicely. Um, traditional three band EQ and the reverb can go from super subtle to all out wash. Around back we have a few things to look at here. Um, we have this speaker out. You could run an 8 ohm cab simultaneously or by itself and bypass this speaker altogether, but I wouldn't do that because it sounds awesome. Um, you got an effects loop or ascend and return, I should say. And what that is, uh, well, it is an effects loop. Uh, you can use it just as a preamp out with the amp still running normal or as a power amp in if you want to use another preamp or bypass the gain and EQ controls on the amp. Um, we also have this balanced out and this is an XLR output and this is one of the coolest features about this amp. It's calibrated to be identical to an SM57 placed four inches off the grill. That includes the compression, the EQ, the speaker performance, the mic diaphragm response and other things like that. Um, he signed this so I might have to steal it. Uh, we got a on off switch and this is where you plug your IEC in. Pretty simple but they crammed a lot of features into such a small thing. Last thing worth mentioning is uh, you'll notice this is kind of the sparkle looking thing, uh, the, the actual grill cl or the, uh, the amp itself. The wrap is similar to a truck bed lining. It's really rugged and scratch resistant, which is great if you're gigging a lot. So I opened up with a little more gain than I usually would. It was about 75% up. I'm gonna pull that down in the next example, but before I go any further, uh, I'm playing my Jazz Master into a DL4, which I used to uh, do some looping in the intro. Uh, we're going straight into the amp. We're miking it with a Royer R121 into an Apogee Quartet and straight into Pro Tools. Uh, I'm going to try to clean this amp up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pull the gain down to about 10 o'clock, uh, pull the volume down as well a little bit, and let's see what that sounds like in the middle position on this Jazz Master here. <laughs> As you can see, the cleans are really nice and punchy. Um, really pretty clean sound, I gotta say. It's solid state, so you can expect that, but it has a lot of warmth, as if I had like a hybrid tube thing going on, but that's not the case here. Um, remember, you do have the three band EQ to help you shape your tone, um, and the volume and gain do work together, and there's reverb, and again, that's it. Um, so I'm gonna try something else. Uh, maybe a little more reverb. So, sorry about that. Maybe a little more reverb, and I'm gonna pull the gain down even more this time. Beautiful. I really like the reverb they put in this thing. It's uh it's like having a built-in digital reverb, and it's really lush. Uh, and like I said, that was about 70% up. It gets a little more drenched than that. Uh, moving right on, uh, I'm gonna try one more sound with this before I move on to a different guitar so you can hear it with different pickups. Uh, I'm gonna pull the gain back up just a hair, um, the volume down along with it, actually. Pull the reverb back, maybe like 40% wet, and Try one more riff with this guitar uh, in middle position. 
middle position this time. Sustain just for days. Oh man, this thing, probably because I'm sitting right next to it as well, but with the gain and the, the volume interlock to a really good setting, you can just let this thing sing, go take a pee break and come back, it's still playing. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to a Tele uh, so you can hear this thing with some different pickups. All right, I got my Telecaster here. Uh, it's Tele Custom to be specific. Um, I'll try it with both types of pickups. You could hear the Jazzmaster style with the P90s, single coils and humbuckers all in the same video for this amp. I'm going to start with the bridge and uh, left the amp exactly the same so you could hear an A-B comparison back to back. reverb really spanks man. I'm gonna turn that up a little more and I am going to turn the gain up a little more as well. I'll compensate with the volume knob and I'm gonna switch to the neck humbucker and play the same thing so you could hear uh, how this thing takes neck, uh, neck pickups or humbuckers either way you look at it. One more time, this time middle position, so you could hear them work together, and I'll leave the amp where it was. I really love the tail of that reverb. Um, it's just like a classic digital reverb sound right there. And it does have a little bit of a spring thing to it. Um, so kudos to ZT and Lee for nailing that. That pretty much covers it for this thing. Um, again, this is the ZT Amps Custom Lee Ronaldo uh, Club. Um, they worked very closely together to make this thing really sing. Um, this is my first amp for PG. Uh, and I'm, an honor, I'm honored to be able to do this one um, because when I was nine years old, Sonic Youth was on TV and it was what inspired me to pick up a guitar in the first place. So thank you, Lee, for that. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. Definitely try to get your hands on one of these things when they are released. I don't have an exact date right now, um, but go to their website, check it out. Also go to our website. Uh, Premier Guitar is also putting out great content every day, as you know, rig rundowns, uh, review demos, first look videos, which are really fun to do. Um, so yeah, check back. Um, always new stuff coming your way. Until next time, this is Brandon and thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.